Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, another presentation. I hope that uh, for young researchers, young teachers, it will be very important, especially in developing countries where research activities are not so great. So many young researchers, I noticed that they don't get enough scopes or learning. So this slide uh, is the part one. I am from University of Dhaka. Uh, currently, I'm working uh, at Osaka University. So basically, uh, in this part, uh, research method, uh, the basic uh, within a few slides I'll try to mention. Uh, in future uh, videos, you'll find uh, a bit more on other topics. So research is a systematic work. So you just can't get anything quickly, easily. Understanding the nature of the problem is uh, very important uh, and uh, you need to review re literature to understand how others have approached or deal the problem so if you want to solve any problem you must know uh, what are the existing solutions so that based on their solutions and uh, their limitations or constraints you can plan for a new guideline and do something uh, from the uh, existing works so based on that, uh, a strong review, a literature review from the top journals, top conference papers or related original books, you can get the information. After that, you try to propose or develop or do some new experiments in some cases or uh, sometimes to collect the data in an organized and controlled manner so that after some work, you can uh, arrive at valid de decisions. So whatever results you got, you have to analyze in depth. I'll discuss a little bit more on those issues. And finally, you draw conclusions. And in the conclusions or in the discussions or analysis, you have to uh, make generalizations of the findings and results. By generalization, I mean where why and how it fits or works where it fails why it fails how it fails you need to find based on this some constraints and limitations of your work and you must write these kind of things don't write too much otherwise reviewers will find it uh, not good sometimes so but anyway you have to write smartly so that if a reader reads your paper and find some genuine constraints or limitations based on this he or she can find a new direction for research so this is very important and when we do uh, research we need to try uh, on diverse and extensive data sets or samples not a small data a small sample you need to check what about the other researchers on the similar field what is the limit of the data set what is the pattern now so based on this, we have to decide. For example, if you uh, think about 10 years before video-based human activity recognition, we had only 10 classes, 10 different kinds of actions by 10 or 20 people. That, that was good. Okay. But now it is not possible in video-based human activity recognition because most of the data sets in the last five, seven years are based on YouTube genuine uh, human activities. And millions of videos are used for those data sets. So, I mean, that is very important. Then finally, based on your limitations or constraints, you try to find genuine future research scopes. So for a quality research, it should be based on the work of others. So don't, don't be happy that based on other works means somebody did, so I just copy and paste, no or uh, somebody did i just do the experiment just like ohm's law or something we do in the experimental lab no it means that based on someone's findings you dig out something wrong in their findings still not done still not solved and you try to solve so that is the point of based on the work of others and your work should be duplicable like others can repeat it do it by looking into your paper and it is generalizable to other settings and definitely 
any work should be based on logical rationale and tied to theory. I mean, you just cannot say something which is just uh, from the sky and no base or something, okay? Or dream. Uh, uh, you cannot do like that, okay? So don't find the uh, different strategies uh, even from the topmost people in the world for coronavirus problem and solutions. So <laughs> go for logical uh, and tied to theory. And that's why we need to study various courses at universities. And I was a student, I know that many of us do not like all the courses we study in the university. But even if you don't like, try to learn because you never know which one will be important in future. What is bad research? So opposite of quality research, looking at something when it simply is not to be found. And uh, uh, another point is that falsifying data to prove a point. I mean, don't lie, don't cheat in the data. And don't uh, misrepresent your information and mislead the participants. Don't be like, I mean, so-called politicians, okay? So uh, another important part is pl uh, plagiarizing or copying other other works, okay? Don't do that. And another point uh, is self-plagiarism and so on. Just I give you like, I mean, sometimes some, I mean, very few researchers, they just copy another person's work and do they don't mention that we are doing experiment based on existing method and this is the exact method. They try to cheat. Don't do that. If you do a new experiment with a new data set, you just mention that exactly this is the method. I just repeated the method and implemented a new data set. And yes, it's a small work, but maybe based on the forum, it can be considered as a new learning, new knowledge. Okay. So, uh, regarding writing, I just give an example that nowadays this is uh, from a plagiarism checker and you see that, I mean, in this case, uh, I mean, a few professors wrote some comments on a book and uh, it, this is in the field of sensor based and uh, missing one word and activity recognition and it says that it is similar to uh, reference one. And th these a few words are similar to reference another one. It, and this way they accumulate. And if the total number of uh, similarities are going further, then it becomes difficult. So that's why do not try to cheat. When you write, write off your own way. Like you think, understand, and then write, I mean, based on your style of uh, language. Anyway. So basic steps of research, uh, number one could be problem identification, what you want to do, and then reviewing information. Reviewing uh, can be two parts. One is that review the literature, and in this case that, I mean, you try to do something and then rethink about what you have planned. And proposal, experiment, data collection, analysis, drawing conclusions and generalization. So the most difficult and most important part that is the beginning of research is to define the problem what you want to do okay so we need to identify and state the problem clearly select the keywords or terms or issues or variables you want to explore in this research it is very important i mean don't switch very quickly and don't select something very quickly Okay, it's not like that I look at someone and the eyes are wow, beautiful, and you fall in love. It's not the case for research. Research should have some genuine rationality and genuine efforts and time. Okay, so uh, then you gaze or hypothesis uh, on about the relation of the terms, or based on this, you can propose a solution or write some important questions you want to explore. And for this, you must need strong literature review. In future presentation, I'll uh, detail how to do different kinds of literature review and give some examples. And reviewing information means a re-examine, the review of the purpose and redefine the problem clearly, just like we do in our life or in sports or in any country. Like we don't make plan A and stick to it always. We ha should have plan A, plan B and something like that. But however, it will vary from domain to domain. It's not specific that, I mean, uh, you must change or you must not change. It depends on the research area. And then you design the methodology of organizations. Thanks a lot. Uh, I hope that we will work harder 
maybe the hardest so that we can develop uh, the world and develop us if we are developed then basically we are contributing to the community and uh, these are from different material sources i cannot recall from what and how and uh, advices from different researchers and uh, in future uh, lectures i'll try to cover literature review paper writing problems how to solve because this is very important sometimes you have something like you cooked something and you serve the food but it is not properly served so that's why it's a problem okay many restaurants they serve ordinary food but serving is excellent they charge three four times money you know that so similarly your writing paper writing is very important i'll try to mention those how to review a paper this is also important especially for uh, senior researchers uh, so that we can help and volunteer the conference and journals uh, to develop and how to select a, a reasonable journals or conferences uh, from the crap journals around so these are the uh, now few points i hope i'll try to cover uh, during this break thank you so much